There's the transom area of the 1995 Pursuit 27 foot. Some hatches here. Nice, perfectly round bait tank in the transom. Now some additional storage here for dead baits. Access to the battery system and oil injected tanks for the outboards. Little uh, wash down station, bait prep area, additional storage and access. We also have easy access down below here. Village area. Take a look down there. The bilge area of the pursuit, right along the transom, oil injection tanks. Looks pretty clean, dual battery system. It's a macerator for the uh, built in uh, fish box. It's got a nice uh, pull out uh, fish locker. It's a dive ladder that mounts on the transom. Self bailing cockpit, diamond plate. Uh, anti skid, very well made bow. We've got some storage here on the side. This does have a uh, shore power system hookup, which is nice. That'll also make the inverter a little bit easier to install. Some aft uh, jump seats. It does have uh, full canvas with this uh, aft cover as well. Also suitable for a cockpit cover. And uh, removable tackle boxes. You can put some plano plastic boxes in there. It's already got the rail. This is the uh, cockpit area. It's got the back facing back seats. It's also on the port side. Again, it's got another wash down system and storage area. Uh, if we continue along the port. Bulkhead. It's another storage area here. Small storage like a glove box, and here's another built-in plano box. So this box is like that. I've had them built before. They're about three or four hundred bucks, so they're not cheap. And then looks like you guys got a little grab handle for the uh, passenger. These are probably been replaced uh, doors because these are probably originally wood or something like that, but they're now made of starboard. Very nice. Very expensive as well. Okay, on the starboard side, the helm side, <clears throat> also another little disc storage area here. Got some cup holders. Got a nice uh, Morse uh, heavy duty control box. This has got the um, flip down helm area so you can access the back for circuit breakers. You can see there's a gasket there. This is the helm area. We've got a Lowrance X70A uh, GPS. SL70 radar system. So it's nice to have the separate systems because if you have a failure on the GPS, um, you can navigate via radar so you're close enough to shore. And you've got a GPS map 210 Garmin chart plotter standard uh, VHF radio with weather band. All the gauges and everything look in very, very good shape. So I, I think this boat probably was covered at, uh, at one time. Even the compass is uh, has little or no damage from sun. This has got a little uh, neat thing here that opens up for some ventilation purposes on a nice day. Isinglass is uh, okay. I would probably replace the front panel uh, with a heavier duty Isinglass and a better uh, view index. Bubba, bubba. Got a built-in step, 
Here's some gauges. Here's the windless windless switch. Not sure how the focus is going to be on this. the cabin area. Uh, <clears throat> this guy used this in a slip kind of as a home away from home and uh, this is all 110 powered equipment so it's not 12 volt including the refrigerator so you would have to uh, activate a full shore power system. I think what the guy did is actually just run an extension cord and then there's a galley here again he's had all the teak a lot of the teak upgraded to starboard material. There is removable carpeting down here. I think the cushions have also been redone. So everything down here is pretty much as new. It's the head and this looks like it is just a head. Does have a vacuum flush or a pump out system, not a shower. There's access to the back of the helm for fuses, wiring, whatnot. So light here. This here is the pod for the uh, windscreen wiper on the starboard side. Some lighting up forward. Hatch with the screen. Might be kind of hard to see right here. Very, very clean in the cabin area. Some additional uh, storage underneath the steps here. Access to some through holes and midship uh, bilge area. There's a tower, some half deck lights. Sunshade, it's full uh, dual control system. That's about a $10,000 option on a new boat. Got them out here for some outriggers, additional trolling rod holders. Raytheon radar system. Got a nice, uh, pretty good sized bow area. Including a flat area here on the bow pulpit. There's all non skid up here. There's a windless anchor line. Again, very heavy duty pursuit, all welded single piece bow rail. There's a spotlight on top. Again, the vent. previous owner did not have a trailer so when they brought the boat on consignment they bought this used trailer tires look like brand new it is painted uh, we would have to do a check of the brakes and probably if it's going to be trailer they have a trailering bottom paint that uh, should be installed this is the bracket trim tabs and transom area of the boat Got an extra long bow pulpit. Hull is in immaculate condition.